Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be mixing up some all grip for a brush and roll. I'm going to roll some out and tip it out with a brush. And as an option, I'm going to show you a little non-skid trick. Let's get the mix going right now. The mix ratio with the brushing catalyst is two parts base to one part H3002. And two ounces. And the reducer is T0031, up to 15%. I'm gonna put the reducer in now so I can see it. Okay. So to brush all grip, generally you want to roll it out with a foam style, high density foam roller uh, to get it out. And then you follow up with a badger hair type of paint brush. And you just slightly tip out the, the roller marks. Or sometimes you get little bubbles when you use the roller, that's fine. You tip it out quickly and lightly uh, with a good quality brush. Uh, badger hair type of uh, brush probably works the best. Another tip is if you saturate the brush with the T31 reducer, um, and then, and then wing it out and dry it out a little bit so it's not saturated in reducer, but it's moist with the reducer. It'll make the tipping much easier. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so you wanna get the foam roller nice and wet and, uh, and, then, and then just apply it on there. You, what you don't wanna do is press hard on the roller to get the paint out. Uh, if you have to press on the roller to get the paint out, that's an indication that the roller needs more paint. And generally what you like to do is just finish off in the same direction always. Same thing when you're tipping. You don't want to tip back and forth. You tip the same direction all the time. So we're going to roll this whole, pan this whole panel out and then follow up with the tip. Make sure you don't leave any little voids or holidays. All right. Uh, if you're tipping a, a hull, uh, generally it's a little bit better if you're tipping from top to bottom as opposed to sideways. Ideally, if you could get, if you could reach from the rub rail to the boot stripe, that would be your best bet. Just a small amount of paint, and we're just gonna slightly tip, get these bubbles out. Hold it at a, about a 45 degree angle. Okay. So you can see the bubbles here uh, and the roughness. And this is what happens after you tip it out. You just very lightly. You don't want to go back and forth like this. It's the same direction. Uh, this is only the first coat, so we're not super concerned about little dust niblets. Uh, you definitely want to be in a very clean environment for your final coat. It's going to take a good two to three coats uh, to get hide on this. So, and you're gonna have to wait overnight. You, you can't brush apply two or three coats in one day. It's gotta be fully dried, usually the next day, just a light sand, uh, and, then, and then you're good to go with your next coat. Okay, now that we have our panel rolled and tipped, uh, we're going to apply the non-skid now. This is a technique that is very handy when you don't want to paper off the whole entire boat. Uh, basically, you roll the paint on wet and you spray the non-skid dry uh, out of the spray gun. So you're still getting the spray effect without all the overspray that go, uh, goes everywhere. Uh, this right here is a 50-50 mixture of coarse and fine. Uh, the three non-skids we have is we have fine, coarse, and extra coarse. Extra coarse only comes in quartz and it is extremely coarse. I would not recommend using it except in a commercial environment. Uh, the fine is not very coarse, it's smooth, you can sit on it with a bathing suit. Uh, the coarse is pretty good for walking on, it'll, it'll keep you from slipping. But if you mix them 50-50, you get the best of both worlds. So let's go ahead and spray the non-skid on. So this is dry non-skid in the gun. I have a 2.1 tip. Uh, you could probably go all the way up to a 2.5. You don't really want to go anything smaller than a 1.8 or it might not come out. I got the needle opened all the way up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the gun up pretty high.
You can cross coat it just to make sure you get it nice and even. Okay, uh, we're done. So uh, the advantage of rolling the paint on and then applying the non-skid dry is, uh, one, first of all, you don't need to paper off everything all off. You just run your, tape your borders off and roll your paint on. Uh, but the second thing is you cannot over apply the non-skid. So in other words, if you have the paint mixed in the non-skid and you spray it and you put too much on, you start to lose the non-skid effect. It gets drowned in, in, in the film. You could spray a whole, the whole container on this. The rolled film of paint will only absorb so much non-skid. The rest of it just blows away. So it makes, it makes for an easy application. So you don't have to do it this way. The other option would be to put, mix the paint for a spray application and put the non-skid in the paint and spray the non-skid and the paint together. Either way, whether you roll it and spray it on dry or put the non-skid in the paint and spray it on wet, you always need to follow up with a final coat of just straight paint to encapsulate that non-skid particles. If you don't do that, uh, the, the non-skid particles will float in the coating and is very absorbent and will be prone to staining. So it'll last much longer and look much better if you uh, apply a coat of, of just straight paint over top of it. Thanks a lot, guys.